Hey everybody, I haven't really been playing Bloodborne, but with the DLC coming up, I realized I might not have enough chunks to fully upgrade all the weapons that are coming out. I have enough stones and or shards and twin shards and rocks, but probably not enough chunks. I only have 60 some of those at the time of this video. So, I realized I'm going to have to farm them. And I know that you can farm them from several different enemies uh, within the vanilla game, and then in the dungeons you can... Uh, kill certain bosses and find certain treasures with them, but none of them really seem fast enough. Even the farming of the wolves in the Upper Cathedral Ward, the werewolves I should say, not wolves, didn't seem fast enough to me. It did. It never is fast enough. They never drop them fast enough for my liking. So, I remembered that when I was getting all the lost and uncanny weapons, that when I would open a treasure chest that was supposed to have one of them that I already had, it would instead sometimes give me a Great One's Wisdom which is worth two insight, as you probably know. So I went through and started checking dungeons for which dungeon that's known in the community has a weapon early on that's quick to get that will also grant you a Great One's Wisdom because you already have the weapon. And this is the one I found. The I'm just going to replay this video over and over again as long as I'm talking and until I'm done explaining what you're supposed to do. Even though it's pretty simple, I want to fully explain it. I don't want to leave people hanging if they have any questions. So anyway, the code for the dungeon is P5SCGNW5. You'll see me put it in, well, not yet, but shortly, and you can just go from there. But, uh, so what you do is you put that code in, and I don't even actually remember what you're supposed to get in the treasure chest, but it's no big deal. You put that code in, <clears throat> you enter the dungeon, when you load up, I like to hit the lamp right away so I can access it quickly on my way out. And after that, I'm not going to go over my entire path. You can just follow the exact path you see me take. You really want to follow this exact path. It's the quickest one. Um, the important things are that you want to burn your stamina almost entirely every time you run. Because when you get to a ladder and a door, especially a door, you will regain that stamina back. So just keep running, hold down the stamina the whole time. The tricky part is, well, there's two tricky parts. One, the cannon. You want to immediately run left. Don't give that guy any time to get to it and fire. And two, the treasure chest has a brain sucker in front of it. I prefer just to, most of the time, I prefer just to dodge him, open it, then perhaps dodge again, and then pick up the Great One's Wisdom and get the hell out of there. Sometimes you can even just pick it up right away and take a hit or two. It's actually faster and worth it because you're not doing any fighting. And if you're good enough, which good enough is, means very little here, you're just running through a dungeon. If you're good enough, you won't get hit again, you can just get out with half, the, half of your health. Uh, you'll see this dungeon is a cursed dungeon, so you're at half HP. But that's not that big of a deal, because you're just running through really quick. So then, as soon as you pick up the Great One's Wisdom, you barrel out the exact same way, with the exception being that when you're in the room with the uh, rafters, or ramps, or whatever they are, the bridges over top the cannon, drop down, and then roll by the guy who's arming the cannon so that he gets distracted and won't fire it at you as you're running through the back through the dungeon to the exit. Then just touch the lamp, and you're back in the dream. Now, unfortunately, you can't just infinitely go in and out. You have to remove the chalice, put the new code in, put the same code in again to create a new dungeon. But it doesn't take that long. To be honest, I've recorded from the time that I load into the dream after completing a cycle, back to loading, to getting the Great One's Wisdom and getting out and loading into the dream again, my quickest time was at 2 minutes and 55 seconds. So that's 2 minutes and 55 seconds per 2 insight. So, you know, if you do that math, 3 times 15, that's how long it takes to get 3 minutes times 15 tries, I should say, because you need 15 Great One's Wisdom to get 30 Insight to buy a chunk. That's how long it takes you to buy a chunk. And I've been finding it's pretty much faster. It may not actually be if you have success farming the werewolves in the Upper Cathedral Ward or a couple other areas, but it never seems to go well for me, and they have a much better chance of killing me than this dungeon run does. There may also be quicker dungeons, dungeons that you can get to the treasure chest even faster, but after, I think, about an hour of checking them, this is the fastest one i found. So it's up to you if you want to keep looking through the dungeons to see if there is a faster one. Alright, I think that's it. I hope this guide helps at least somebody. Thanks for watching.